Welcome to another Hero Arts video. This is for a pull-up pop-up card. There are many names for this type of card, but basically you start with the card on the left and when you pull it up, it reveals the inside, like in the picture on the right. I'm going to start by cutting a piece of white cardstock to 3 inches by 4 inches. You can do any size that you want for the stamped piece on the front, as you can see later, but I like to start with the bigger size of 3 inches by 4 inches. Now I'm just going to stamp this large tree onto this piece and I'm stamping it off to the side so it hangs off the bit. I like just that off-center look. Now there's many ways of doing the grass on the bottom but I like to use fabric. If you cut a little slit on any kind of fabric and you just tear like that it will always tear perfectly straight and it gives you a nice frayed edge. So what I am um, going to do here is just put some adhesive on the bottom and pleat the fabric as I go, just to give it a little bit of dimension and the, the adhesive will hold it in place. I love the little bit of frayed edge on the top, just giving a, the feel of some wild grass growing there. And you can just cut the extra off. Fabric is a great texture to add to your cards, but it doesn't add too much bulk either. And you can use your fingernail to just pull up some more fraying just for a little bit of extra uh, texture. Now I also um, did a little bit of sewing on the bottom there. I don't know if you can see, but just to hold the, fa the fabric in place. You really don't need to do that, but if you'd like to, you can. You can see the sewing there. I also added some color to the tree. I did red berries and green leaves and a brown trunk. Now I'm going to cut a piece that is um, slightly larger than the white, so just making a mat for it. So it basically ends up being like three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Just kind of eyeing it here. The dark green um, mat on this also makes the color pop in the tree. Now this is how you design the pop-up card. Basically I just took a Hero Arts note card and I'm cutting off just a little bit of the top of the card because we're going to add a ribbon knot up there and we want it still to be able to fit in the envelope. Now I'm using this white stamped piece as um, a template to trace and this is where we will make the pop-up card. So I'm just lightly using a pencil to trace around the white stamped piece. Now you can use that little um, edge in the trimmer where I'm about to point to right here with my thumb, that little edge, and that's a guide for where you're going to cut. So I'm just cutting along the pencil line. You can also use an X-Acto knife for this if you want. So I'm cutting along the sides of my pencil um, square and also on the bottom but not on the top. So you can see the two sides are cut and the bottom is cut on my pencil drawn square. But now on the top part, we're going to just score it there. I know there's fancy tools for doing scoring, but I like to just use that little um, edge line in my trimmer, just like you would to cut it, but I just score. So now you have the two sides and the bottom cut, but not the top. Now I'm just going to erase all the pencil lines. This may seem quite complicated, but after you've done them a few times, they're really quick and easy to do. So I'm going to fold it at the top, and now I'm going to make a mountain. I'm going to fold that in half. So it just folds right over in half. Very easy to do. I decided I wanted to add a little bit of stamping around the edge of this just for a little bit of interest and this border stamp is just perfect to stamp around the four sides of that window that we cut. I like to use the lime chalk pastel ink uh, when I stamp onto the lime note card. It gives a great tone on tone look. Now that I'm done with that I need to seal three sides of this card. I just use this really thin adhesive tape. You can use any kind of adhesive as long as you just apply it to the edges only. And you want to do it on the three sides, but of course not on the top. So on the two, two sides of the card and the bottom, but not the top. I've done this with stitching too. It's great to just sew right along the edge. 
So I'm just taking off the release paper here, but really you can use any type of adhesive, just make sure it's right up against the edge. And after you put your adhesive on, you want to close it really good. Press it down real nicely. And then you can see that top is still open. Now on that top edge that's open, I'm going to punch out half of a circle. This will give us a place for our ribbon tag to pull up. Now we have to make the tag that pulls up. And it's great because you just have to make it the same width as your green mat. That ensures that it's slightly larger than the hole that you cut. So I cut it to the same width as that green mat. And now I'm going to score one of the ends about an inch um, from the edge and fold it up. Now we just got to cut the corners out. So I'm cutting right up to the scored line, cut that corner out, and also on the other side. This will all make sense as you see the card come together. Now I'm going to generously put adhesive onto that flap that's sticking up and put it in the top of the card where it's open. You just work your way in slowly and you're going to take that flap and push it right up to the against, against the bottom of your window. And see how it's lined up just perfectly there. And you're going to take your flap and close it. Now as you pull, it'll pop up real nicely. I like to do this a few times because it kind of works it into place, makes it easier for it to pop up. Now I'm just going to cut off any extra for the top so that it'll still fit into my envelope. Now I'm adding to my stamped image to the green mat. I did some I used pop dots for that, just for a little added dimension. Now when you adhere the stamped image, you only want to put adhesive on the bottom of that window, on the bottom, just below the scored line only. And you're going to line up the stamped image right with the bottom of that, of that window flap. So you can see it is able to open perfectly. Now I just added a uh, punch circle and some ribbon to the top of my tag just to give it a finished look, but you could put a button or anything there that you want. You could also put a tag that says pull here if you're interested in doing that. Now I'm just going to stamp an image in here and then write my message. Um, you could also instead write part of your message on that top white tag that's sticking out above the card. I've done that before too, it's up to you, but in this card I'm just going to write on the inside only. So I added a few little embellishments and also stamped a butterfly, but you can see this is how the pull-up pop-up card works. And really, after you've done it a few times, it's very easy to do. And there's the finished results. Thanks for watching another Hero Arts video, and we'll see you again soon.